in spirit nutrition your brother your friend your dietitian back again for another installment 16 video challenge house hacking how to hack your house and to stack let's get it popping let's get it popping no let's get it popping so i actually previously did a video like this already but it was super windy and i got crazy uh negative feedback <laughs> but negative feedback is really positive feedback because it lets you know what to do differently so it's not windy today it's really sunny and it's fall so um i'm gonna do another video for y'all so house hacking how you can hack your house and stack there's different ways that you can house hack um i recommend all of the ways to house hack whatever you can do to get more bread more dough in your family's pockets go for it so the first way of house hacking is drum roll, drum roll please actually renting out or subletting your apartment that's another way to house hack so say you have a one bedroom two bedroom three bedroom up to four five six seven bedroom apartment which are unheard of but if you got one um what you can do is see if your landlord will let you sublet your apartment or you may not have to ask your landlord you may just be bold uh act and then apologize later um and what you could do is say your rent is a thousand dollars you can charge for a two bedroom where is that happening i don't know but that's just an example thousand dollars for a two bedroom what you could do is get a roommate and charge the roommate six hundred dollars for a room for a room and access to the kitchen and the common area right and uh you know share a bathroom uh, and now what you have is $600 for um, paying down the mortgage. That's $600 in your pocket. Um, and it's the same goes for if you have two bedroom, three bedroom, whatever. That's how, you, you know, it, it, the principles are the same. Um, another way of house, uh, house hacking, if you don't have an apartment um, and you have a, let's say you do have an apartment, but um, the apartment next door to you opens up. Um, one way you could do it is get the lease on that next apartment. Uh, say it's another one bedroom. And if you're in a city with a lot of attractions, or if you're in a city, um, excuse me, if you're in a city that is like Los Angeles, for example, where a lot of tourists come, a lot of different people come and visit, what you could do is uh, rent out that whole apartment via Airbnb. And you can stack a lot of money using Airbnb. But with Airbnb, you have to be careful about the legal implications of that, and you have to check with your uh, local landlord and see if they'll, sometimes they'll agree to the Airbnb usage, but they may charge you extra $100 a month in, in uh, rent. So that's another way to hack and stack. Uh, next way to hack and stack is, say you actually have a condo, a home, something you actually own. This is one of my sweetest and favorite ways of doing it because you have more control. In a rent situation, when you're renting in an apartment, you don't have as much control, you don't have as much autonomy, but at a home, you're good. In a home, what you can do is that, say you and your wife just bought a home, right? And it's a two or three bedroom, but you guys have extra space in the home because you have two and three bedrooms. What you can actually do is rent out the other two bedrooms um, to friends, to people that you find on roommates.com, uh, that you vet you want to make sure you vet through these people that you meet because it could be some serial killers It could be crazy ass people. You don't want excuse my language. It could be crazy people. You don't want that to happen. So Make sure you find someone that is reputable They may it may be a college student and maybe someone who's fresh out of college and they just got their first job They're trying to save money. Um, it could just be somebody who hit hard times going through divorce There's a thousand scenarios, but you want to vet them check their credit score make sure they're legitimate but the criminal background uh, uh, record things like that um, and you can actually get bread money moolah dough cheese paper <laughs> um, from that tenant and have them pay your mortgage so if your mortgage is 1200 1500 2000 and you rent out two bedrooms for 500 each for 600 each you're looking at thousand to twelve hundred for 700 each you're looking at a thousand to fourteen hundred dollars paying down your mortgage so that's how you can stack and, and that's how you can hack and stack another way of hacking and stacking is actually um renting out your whole home and living uh 
somewhere else like on the couch if you're a bachelor you want to really go hard you don't care about sleeping on the couch get a bunch of guys fill it up in there with like uh college guys or fill it up with uh fresh out of college guys you got a three bedroom home you just purchased um and you're a young cat sleep on the couch man sleep on the couch put your stuff in the garage sleep on the couch put your stuff in the main oh, ladybug uh, sleep on the couch and, and put your stuff in the main closet in the house and rent out all three three of your bedrooms so say your mortgage is 900 or a thousand you rent out each bedroom for 500 you got a profit of 500 not only are they paying off your mortgage you got 500 in your pocket so that's how you hack and stack so now your friends they were in out of nice apartments for 1500 but you copped the house and you getting paid to own the house five hundred dollars a month but not only that you sleeping on the couch living like you were in college living like you were when you were broke and guess what you still working so now you got a thousand dollars that you're saving from not paying mortgage right then you got 500 from the one of the tenants and they and you got them paying utilities so now how are you stacking now you got 1500 plus every month while your friends that graduated from school they only got they, they paying 1500 so you building equity you doing you building uh you know you got tax write-offs at the end of the year you're looking at a good 1800 i mean excuse me eighteen thousand dollars stacked and that's easy that's not even you trying that's not even you trying for money from your work trying to budget and save this is how you hack and stack so hack your house and stack please do do it for me this video ain't loud got the wind blowing and all that so this video has the game has the same information please utilize it uh, one last thing you could do is put your house on Airbnb if you got a house out here and well I'm out in LA but if you got a house in um, a high traffic area you'd be surprised that a lot of tourists they'll come and see some local attractions in your area even if you think your area is not like really um, attractive for tourists there's some tourists that'll come to your area so uh, you should think it over before you just say oh no tourists will come to my area so um, you could try and rent out like I said the Airbnb uh, rent, rent out your room for the Airbnb uh, it's different options your brother your friend your dietitian back again for another installment and in spirit nutrition just trying to share the game with y'all I'm just trying to get y'all game 16 video challenge like share and subscribe if you don't like it don't like it dislike it don't share it and don't subscribe write some negative comments if you have to it's book it's book be the game man it's the blueprint peace and blessings good health and my well